The topic of conversation today is daily vlogging. Post down in the... In the <laughs> Booyah! Generally, I'm editing from 5 a.m. until about 10 a.m. After 10 a.m., render the vlog. Try and post it within the next hour. I'm out of the house by 11 a.m. Daily vlogging is intense. Familia, it is another beautiful day here in Sao Paulo. I just spent the whole morning editing. Uh, I got out a little bit late. It's done around noon today. I'm headed to the mall right now to get some lunch, and then there's a few things to talk about. They were excited. The topic of conversation today is daily vlogging. You know, over the past couple of years, I watched Casey Neistat, or I watched Fun for Louie, and I never really understood what it took to daily vlog. Daily vlogging has a, wait, hold on. Can we just take a second to appreciate the tropical plant life here and how beautiful it is? With every type of daily vlogger, there's really three things to consider to have a successful YouTube channel. That's personality, content, and production. Or as I like to call it, PCP. You've gotta maintain this personality that's exciting that people can get along with, that people can relate to, uh, that's outgoing and fun and crazy and wild and new and different and people like and enjoy to watch. At the same time, you have to make sure that your content is quality. What story are you telling? And finally, production. What's the quality of your video? What's the quality of your editing? What's the quality of your storytelling when it comes to using like Final Cut Pro and a camera? For me though, there's a fourth factor. Is that out of focus? 
Perfect example, that was all out of focus. My production quality wasn't as good as it could have been or as it should have been. Like I was saying, for me there's a fourth factor. Not only do I have to consider personality, content, and production, I'm in Brazil and going to live in seven other countries for one purpose. That purpose is to learn all the languages. So it's finding the balance of those four factors. I don't just wake up and record my day, I wake up and make a video telling a story at the same time learning Portuguese and making sure that the production quality is solid. Now I'm not saying that's any more difficult than trying to balance a job like say Casey Neistat did while he was doing his daily vlog. I'm just saying that it doesn't help me learn Portuguese when I'm speaking English to you guys. I, I still love you guys. So I'm in a cafe right now. There's a couple things that I'm doing today. Daily vlogging. Every single day I'm looking for a new story, I'm looking for new content, I'm looking for new things to do. I'm also looking for new ways to practice my Portuguese. Considering this, I have several ideas. Let's get a little bit closer. My first goal is to learn the language. There's an endless opportunity of things that I can do. One of the reasons that I'm here in this bookstore, I'm trying to find the Brazilian equivalent to Pablo Neruda. If you guys have any recommendations for Brazilian poets, writers, post in the comment section below. After I order my espresso, I'm going to go try and find some literature. Posso pedir aqui? Um, sou um espresso. Obrigado. Another reason that I'm here is to book my trip for this January. I've decided where I'm going. I don't know if I'm gonna release those details beforehand. All right, I'll give you guys a hint. It is in Minas Gerais, but it is not Oro Preto. Obrigado. Café. I'm also here researching other ways that I can use my time. I had initially thought about trying to find some kind of organization empowering youth here in Sao Paulo, but that's just an idea. I'm really open to any kind of organization, whether it's... Working with underprivileged youth, the empowerment of women, the LGBTQ community, I'm really open to any kind of organization. I do need to be able to film, which I think could be a good thing. You know, I think being able to promote these organizations, promote what they stand for, I think that would only be a good thing. I really hope to get started on this volunteer in my time uh, and bringing you guys along with me, beginning in the next couple weeks. So my goal with this vlog is not only to show you guys interesting things. Oh, I just had a bug fly right in my eye. So yeah, the goal for this vlog is to not only show you guys interesting, cool stuff in my day-to-day -day life, living abroad, but I'd also really like to volunteer some of my time. Hey, look who I found. I'd love to find an organization based out of Sao Paulo. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like this video. I love you. I will see you tomorrow. Buenas noches.